when you come into the room, the first thing you see is my side of the room. And because I keep my enclosures in my bedroom, there is of course my bed. Then there's the closet where I keep my clothes and hamster stuff and just some random things. Here is my hamster servant bag. I love it. It's so cute. Then when I turn around, there's the door. And then there's Mia's enclosure. All the way over here. Here is the desk area and these shelves. Here I have some more hamster stuff, just some memory pieces. Some pictures of Melody, some hides that I don't want to use for any other hamsters because I connect them with past hamsters too much. Here's the urn of one of my hamsters, which I had cremated. Um, Melody's little paw prints. And yeah, just some random hamster things. Here again the desk, the window, really big windows. And then Nia's enclosure with, of course, a lid. I get this question so often. Yes, my enclosures do have lids. I just take them off for pictures and videos. And whenever I have to do anything in the enclosures, because, well, you wouldn't be able to see much if I left them on. And the lids open up really easily. I can just lift them up here. And then there's this little wooden piece that I can just flip up like this and then the lid just stays open without me having to hold it up all the time so that's really practical um, i made the lids myself these are just beech wood which i screwed together it really doesn't look professional but i mean it works so i'm happy with them and this is just perforated aluminum sheets and I have some chicken wire on other spots. It both works great. I didn't build the enclosures myself. I had them custom made by aquarium and terrarium builders. Um, so I can't really tell you how exactly they built it. I just know it's glass plates that were glued together with aquarium silicone. And I used these aluminum strips to connect them all so they fit together nicely. I won't be telling how much I paid for them, uh, mainly because I don't want to, but also because it won't really help anybody, because the price really varies on where you live, what, who you ask to build it, uh, what materials they use, how big you want it. So I'd really just recommend that you look up terrarium or aquarium builders in your area and just ask them how much something like this or just whatever you want to have built would cost you. Here with Nia's enclosure this part is a bit special. This is just a raised part which leads with this bridge that you can see here up to the staircase which leads to the playpen. I'll show you from the other side later. Here an overview of her enclosure. It goes all the way over here. It reaches in the playpen, so have to go over the playpen wall. Here's still Nia's enclosure. Here on the floor is all their playpen things because everything in here is the playpen. Here's even more playpen stuff. Um, I won't be showing them too closely because I might do a playpen tour in the future sometime. So here's just a small overview. And here's Nia's staircase. It's with plexiglass in the front. And I can open up the door and take all platforms and ramps out to clean and yeah, replace them if ever needed. And here, you can see Nia sleeping in there. Yeah. And then on the other side is Cherry's enclosure with the lid on, of course. She also does have a lid. I keep it closed at all times. 
except when I feed her or change her water or interact with her but whenever I'm not right there hers have little latches at the front which I can keep closed or opened just for extra safety and then I can open them up just like Nia's yeah really practical they're built uh, much the same way as Nia's um, I just use different perforated sheets and just made some slight changes just so it would work for this enclosure. I haven't finished this lid, have to do that sometime in the future. But here is Cherry's camera. You might have seen the videos I sometimes post in my Instagram stories. This is just a camera with motion detection which records during the night so I can see if Cherry was awake and what she was doing because I don't see her every night so this is just for me to check up on her and then here is Cherry's staircase Cherry's enclosure is a bit different from Mia's because I have a little door here that I can open up and close I had this custom made as well like her whole enclosure so i can just put the staircase right up to there i keep it closed at the moment because she doesn't have access to the playpen right now um because she's having some issues with her back which cause her to have some trouble moving around sometimes so i don't want her in the playpen unsupervised but i do let her out sometimes when we're awake at the same time so she can get some exercise in the playpen and here Nia is awake, just sorting through her food, probably getting a snack. Um, and here is Cherry's enclosure with her soil part. I won't be going into too much detail with the enclosures either, because I do want to film some cage tours sometime soon. And in this corner I just have some hamster pictures on the walls. Up there is um, a picture I got as a present. They are just hamster pictures of all the hamsters I've ever had. Two dwarfs and five Syrians. There are some of my favorite hamster photographs. And here some paintings and drawings my sister made for me. That back there is Liralai or Roiple as I usually called her. And she was the inspiration for the name this YouTube channel and also my Instagram and TikTok. And here on the bottom I just have this shelf for the food stuff that I use a lot. So I have them on hand always. Um, here is Cherry's medicine that she has to get daily. Then here's their just regular food mix with the two measuring spoons that I use. Back here I have some dried leaves and herbs, just a mix of those. Here in the back are some dried flowers. And then in the front, the treats I use the most. Cherry's favorites here, zucchini and pumpkin seeds. I have to get more of those. I'm just, I'm running quite low on those. Um, and Nia's favorite, some dried veggies. I got the shelf and the charts from Ikea, they're really great, I love them, they have a great size and they close airtight so everything stays fresh. Then over here, another giant window, don't worry, the sun does shine in a bit but not too much on the enclosure so it's not a problem, but in the summer I do have curtains that I hang to just close it up a bit more so it doesn't get too hot in here. Then I have these two shelves from Ikea where I keep hamster stuff. In here, just keep my camera and camera stuff. That's not too interesting. Then in here, I have some more treats, some pine nuts, some dried fruit dried bananas, some walnuts in shells, this is just an empty cookie jar, I don't really know what I should use it for. Then I have some coconut chips and some cashews. 
these are treats that I don't really use that often so I keep them in here because I don't need them then in this bottom drawer I have all of my food dishes and water bowls I have a lot of them. I usually just use the ones I have in the enclosures at the moment, so I don't really change them that often, but I still have a lot of them. Yeah. Then over to the second one, I have these two shelves here. Here's just a hamster taxi that I use to weigh them and transport them in safely. Then here's the little brush I use to spot clean, the scale, plastic bags that I usually just use to take out the bedding I have to take out of Nia's enclosure, two serving trays, I just use those to get the food and water dishes from here to the kitchen so I don't spill the water everywhere, and just this empty storage bin. Then I have two more of these drawers in the top I just keep all the dishes that I plan stuff in and in the bottom I have all the seeds that I plant some wheat, some mung beans and stuff like that the watering spray thingy and coconut fiber soil and then I have these boxes, I'll show you what I have in them. Here in the first box, I just have some nesting material, some KD Clean and Cozy, toilet paper and safe bed. Then in the second one, I keep my chinchilla sand and my sieves. Then in the third, I have all of my sprays. I have some sorghum here, some amaranth. I keep them in these jars from Ikea. They're great, they fit in the length perfectly. Then I have some oat sprays, um, some panicle millet, some foxtail millet, some flax, and some of these poppy capsule thingies. Just keep them all in here. And in this last one, I just keep some random stuff that I don't really know where else to put. Here are some pea flakes that I use as very rare treats. Then I have some these nibbling stuff here. They're from a Swiss shop, so they are safe for hamsters. These are sunflower heads huge corn cob, um, some other small treats with veggies and seeds, then I have some smaller corn cobs here, some dandelion roots in here, and some homemade cookies in here. I don't have a lot of them anymore because I gave away a lot of them to some hamster rescues so I have to make some more soon and then I just have these two packs of dried flowers that I couldn't fit in my flower jar so I keep them in there until I use them all yeah. and then I just have these things on the top and yes I do know I have to clean my windows soon um, I just have some little decorations up here a lamp of course then this cute little treat jar which is empty because I don't know what to put in there this slate plate I usually put the plants and stuff on here so the wood doesn't get damaged I don't have any at the moment so it's just empty and this little ceramic thing I have all these roadie pet spoons I don't know what I should do with them I just have them Keep. And then we're at the end of the playpen again, so up and over here, another overview of my side. 
and the hamster side. I have a great view of Nia's enclosure from my bed. You can watch our, all her tunnels. It's amazing to watch her burrow. Um, yeah, you can really see everything. Yeah, I absolutely love this room. I love the hamster side and my side. I do think that I have enough room for myself. I wouldn't change anything about it except for maybe make the enclosures even bigger. It doesn't bother me at all having such large enclosures in here and no, it does not smell at all. Um, just maybe some urban flower and wood smell just from the um, accessories and the bedding and food, but it doesn't smell bad at all. So oh, I hope you liked this video, let me know in the comments below if you have any more video suggestions or requests or any questions, I'll do my best to answer them all. You can also check out my TikTok and Instagram, I'll link them down below. I have a lot of short videos and pictures over there and information in my Instagram highlights. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, bye!